So good afternoon, everyone, uh, into this uh, very lovely event. I guess we still maybe one minute we wait for some other participants who are running to get a coffee or tea and to sit down by the screen. All the other participants, I really welcome you to turn on your camera so we can see you and also try to recognize either you're Georgian, Latvian or Ukrainian. Yes, yes, yes. Come and join. Come and join. Uh, also, hello to those people who are watching us through Facebook. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please turn on your videos. Um, and so I would like to open this uh, event, networking event, uh, partnering with social enterprises from Latvia, Georgia and Ukraine. And uh, truly, hopefully, that uh, after these two hours that we will spend here, you'll get some insights and ideas for future collaboration. And uh, that afterwards, you will not only think about collaborations, but this afternoon, you will make some calls, some emails, and to start really cooperating uh, for the future. And uh, some technical information about language. Um, most of the events will be held in English. Uh, some part will be in Georgian. But if you would like to receive translation, either in Ukrainian, either in Georgian, on the bottom line of the screen, there is the, where you where there is the, this chat uh, sign, uh, screen uh, sign, a record sign. There is also sign interpretation. So if you click on the sign and you press Georgian, then everything that we are talking is going to be translated in Georgian. Or if you want to have it in Ukrainian, you can press the Ukrainian and then it's going to be all translated into Ukrainian. Yeah. And I would ask maybe Salome, uh, please, if you could translate it for Georgian people. Um, and uh, thank you. bit mego brebo. Initiative synchronous harmony cartful another. interpretation. Georgian um, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay, it seems that you said something else, but all right, I hope it's uh, relevant to the topic. Okay, and also Petro, if you could translate also for Ukrainian people. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Greetings to everyone. Дорогі учасники, які хочуть слухати нашу дискусію українською мовою, ви матимете можливість це зробити. На нижній панелі вашого Zoom екрану ви знайдете таку іконку, яка нагадує глобус, там написано переклад, interpretation, або якою мовою залежить використовуєте ваш Zoom. Натиснувши на неї, ви зможете обрати опцію тієї мови, якою ви хочете слухати сьогодні Захід. Серед них є доступна українська мова, наш перекладач колега Антон перекладає з англійської на українську, і відповідно в коментарях ви можете також залишати ваші коментарі, питання українською, за потреби ми їх перекладемо згодом до наших спікерів англійською. Дякую. I think I'm done with Ukrainian. Thank you. Uh, lovely. It, it's so interesting to hear the Ukrainian language I haven't heard for some time, so it's not for you to speak something else. All right, um, also from a technical part, uh, this event is streamed uh, online in Facebook. So those people who are watching us on Facebook, uh, either you can continue watching in Facebook or if you want to receive uh, also translations or to be part of the practical part uh, side of this uh, event, you can also join us through the Zoom link. So we will be also happy to have you here uh, also in the afterward session where there will be practical parts. Um, and before we start, I would like to do a little uh, icebreaker so we are ready for, um, for this uh, cooperative event. And um, first thing I will ask you to look in your room around, not into the scroll, but around your room, and choose two objects. One object that is in red color and the other object that is in green color. Don't bring uh, sofas, uh, take something little, it can be either candle or yes, there is a board game or a cup or a candle or something. Yes, Reggie, the perfect. Yes, Salome, I see you. Yes, with your bag. And uh, Natalia, oh, you have a tape. Wow, green tape. This is not something ordinary to have in the house. All right, all right. Uh, Julia, we see you. Oh, Nana, you have nice markers. And Mara is um, a fan of Orbit. Yes, oh, Liva is um, such a glorious cactus. Yeah, all right. 
So what I will do, I will uh, give you one statement. If you agree with the statement, you raise up your green item. If you don't agree with the statement, you raise up the red item, all right? So let's start with the first one. Uh, the first statement is, I like spending time in nature. I like spending time in nature. Yes, this is something I bet. I don't know if somebody will put the red one. Oh, Owa is uh, putting kind of a red, Natalia as well. We could have an afterward conversation of why. All right, all right, thank you. Okay, let's go with the second one. Uh, I'm a great fan of Eurovision Song Contest. I'm a great fan of Eurovision Song Contest. Let's see the reality. All right, we have Anna who is a little bit and Petro a little bit. Uh, I, I guess this a little bit is that you are shy to say that you're a fan, but just you you consider yourself to be a fan. <laughs> okay, let's go for the next one. Uh, when I was in school, I have taken part in debates. When I was in school, I was taking part in debates. Mm -hmm. We see some people. Okay, some people had, yes. Uh, so those people who press the green, be ready today also to debate. Uh, okay, let's go for the next one. I represent social entrepreneur. I'm a social entrepreneur or I represent social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people, I guess, those who want to be or somehow the, on the other way linked. All right, all right, thank you. Okay. And, uh, and the last one, in the past months, I have read a book or watched a movie that has truly inspired me. In the past months, I have read a book or watched a movie that has truly inspired me. Okay, great. And everyone who raised the green one, please type the name of the book or the name of the movie in chat so others, other people tonight, they can have some interesting inspirations either for watching or for reading. Yeah. So please write it down. And while you are writing, I will just also remind you a little bit of this project that uh, this project is supported by Ministry of Foreign Affairs and is organized by Ukrainian Social uh, Academy and Social Enterprise Alliance in Georgia and also Social uh, Entrepreneurship Association of Latvia. And um, during this project, there have been already five different webinars, uh, truly interesting ones. I also watched some and uh, I, I think there's a very, it's very useful information over there. So, and the, all of these webinars can still be viewed and there will be also a link in the chat to, to those videos in the YouTube. If you want to see them again, there will be the accessibility. And uh, just to remind you about the goal of this event. Um, uh, first, at this event, there will be different um, stories, uh, good practices on how to collaborate for social entrepreneurs. And afterwards, there will be space for networking from learning to each other, discussing what other collaborations there could be made. And also, uh, I think the great thing about this event that you can create some future collaborations, maybe after a year or two, you will say, yes, exactly. That was the 26th of October when we created this partnership and it really changed, uh, I don't know whether your life or maybe professional life and hopefully also the lives of other people. All right, and uh, so we are going almost to start. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to uh, tell you is about uh, master groups, no, mastermind groups, yes. So after this event, all of the participants who are here, you will receive an email with invitation to apply for the mastermind group. And uh, a mastermind group is kind of a group where there will be peers and uh, people with maybe similar uh, interests or similar goals and uh, we'll talk about issues that will be uh, related to social entrepreneurship. Yeah, later at the end of the event, I will tell you a little bit more about that, but this will also be a possibility to facilitate your future collaborations. All right, uh, so are there any questions about the, about the program, about the event? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just before we start with our first presentations, uh, what I ask you to do is that we will do one little clapping activity. We cannot do like this because for most of you, the microphones are off. If you can take your hands, if you can take your hands and put together, looks like in a praying position. And if you can give a clap to all of the speakers of today and give like on the sides, like you do. And if you can match with the person next to you, yes, uh, let's try all together. One, two, three, and okay. One, two, three, and 
Okay, and the third one. All right. Thank you. Wow, I see also in chat there are lots of interesting uh, books uh, in uh, in Russian also and also in English. Yes, those ones who haven't managed to write, please write. It can be also inspiration for some other people. So I would like to introduce our uh, first uh, part of this event that it will be um, telling good practices uh, regarding social entrepreneurship and regarding their collaboration with other organizations. And the first speaker will be Natalia from OVA, from Latvia. And uh, how it's going to go that uh, Natalia for about seven minutes will introduce her organization and uh, how they have been cooperating with other organizations. So everyone, if you have some questions or you have some comments, um, please either you write them down or keep them in your mind. And after her presentation, we can ask her as well. Yeah. All right, Natalia, clap for you. You can turn on your microphone and uh, just as also a technical issue. If you would like to see Natalia on the full screen, on the upper right corner of your screen, there is this um, little item view yeah. and you can change it to the speaker. So then Natalia will be on the whole screen and you will see her fully. Yeah. All right, Natalia. We give yeah. a hand to you and you can um, present yeah. your story. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will make some excursion to present my organization. Uh, not like my organization, it's our organization, me and uh, our uh, workers. Uh, so I'm presenting uh, the social uh, project OVA. It's a classical enterprise, uh, but it's also officially social enterprise. Uh, we are producing uh, clothes. We, uh, we are production enterprise uh, with Latvian artist uh, paintings uh, printed uh, with sublimation technique on uh, fabrics and uh, sewed by our workers. So uh, now uh, we will uh, make some small tour of our uh, workshop yeah uh, so i'm uh, switching my camera yeah you see i am here here's our like a cutting and uh, ironing the room yeah uh so so, so i'm going forward uh, yeah the work is uh, on uh here our sewers are making uh, our uh, very popular bags uh, it's a sewing workshop. We have two girls uh, who are sewing. One Zoom yeah, but uh, Natalia, we don't hear you very well. You should keep your phone yeah. close to you. Yeah, I will keep uh, hold it here. Yeah, here also. Like a showroom, yeah, of our products. Yeah, we are producing different, uh, for example, um, tops. Uh, or uh, leggings, uh, for example, or different bags uh, uh, are popular. Uh, yeah, with the prints. Uh, yeah, and uh, so far here we have a photo kitchen and uh, some we are making a photo room of uh, like a studio, small studio for. Um, products of our products and uh, as uh, in Latvia all shops are closed uh, so we uh, decided to spend this time to uh, make better our uh, internet shop because also we have a uh, like a big design sh shop of uh, different uh, products of Latvian design uh, we are cooperating with uh, about 80 uh, Latvian brands and uh, selling their products in our shop uh, in a shopping mall of uh, Domina in Riga. So now our uh, sales girl yeah, is uh, making this uh, internet shop. And here also we have a printing room. We have uh, different printers, small, big uh, presses uh, uh, for sublimation and uh, making different uh, visuals also, yeah. Uh, so, and uh, the story is that uh, why we are social enterprise, because all people uh, I showed who are in this uh, workshop, all are people with disabilities, but uh, high qualified people. Also me, uh, I will switch. Yes, uh, 
uh, also me. Uh, I'm also a, uh, like a girl with uh, disabilities from my childhood. And uh, yeah, our aim is to show that the people with disabilities can uh, make real projects, can make uh, big projects, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, can produce. Uh, products uh, who, uh, which uh, people are buying uh, because they like it. Not because of uh, charity, but because uh, they like it. And uh, I want to tell you a story about one cooperation which uh, was started, but uh, because of Corona and some financial, financial uh, aspects uh, stopped, but it's a good uh, example for social enterprises, how we can cooperate. As we are working as a no normal enterprise uh, with uh, no discounts for disabilities. Yeah, uh, so uh, we don't have uh, a lot of orders from uh, different state uh, organizations uh, or some um, charity organizations. Yeah, so uh, this summer we have participated in uh, one tender of uh, one very famous organization who uh, it's like a network were very very famous uh, they wanted to recycle their uh, uniforms of their workers and uh, yes uh, the tender was about a uh, month uh, yeah and um, we were producing many samples and uh, we want these tenders to recycle about uh, 8,000 of different uniforms of all Baltic uh, region uh, shops and uh, this uh, organization is, uh, I will show you some example of uh, one product, how can uh, re uh, uniforms be recycled. It's uh, like you see the name, yeah. So we want a tender of IKEA uh, to recycle their uniforms. For example, from the trousers, uh, we offer to make uh, some aprons, yeah, for workers. So it's very useful, so, uh, pockets and uh, um, and so on, yeah. Uh, also, we offered uh, different toys, different uh, stuff for uh, animals, yeah, uh, such a big line for uh, uh, pets. Uh, and yeah, uh, it was a very, very big pro uh, um, cooperation. Uh, the project uh, all costs were about uh, 60,000 euros. Yeah, in total, uh, but uh, the aim also was uh, to make uh, the project uh, that could be sold, uh, sold in IKEA. Yeah, so uh, in the end, uh, the price of the project, of the recycled project uh, products was, uh, were uh, uh, too expensive uh, comparing with other IKEA uh, products. And uh, also now is a Corona crisis and uh, often sh uh, shops are closed, especially IKEA is a big uh, shopping mall in Latvia, it's closed also now. Uh, so why, uh, yeah, they decided to stop it, but it was for us, it was a uh, very good, example and very good uh, practice uh, to participate in the real tender uh, with uh, like a real competition like with real competitors. Yes, they wanted to offer this tender for uh, social enterprise, uh, but uh, yes, we want the tender uh, as a uh, uh, our products, our offer were, was better, were quality, uh, with the best quality, with the best price, uh, like a normal uh, offer. Also, we are cooperating with a uh, different uh, state organization or private organization. For example, uh, we're offering sublimation printing. Yeah. So, for example, we made, uh, we are making different masks for schools for, uh, for example, we made such a uh, face mask for uh, Materize. It's a uh, uh, project organization of our state physics institute. Yeah, it's a state organization with uh, also real tender. Yeah, but they, uh, asked us to produce it uh, firstly because they liked our product. Yeah, they didn't know that we are a social enterprise. Yeah, uh, it was a second uh, point. Um, also, uh, plus I mean, I one more minute, the, the, last, uh, the last important yeah. thing. Yeah, so yes, uh, for us, it's very important uh, that uh, uh, our corporations are not the charity projects. Yeah, so our clients uh, and uh, partners uh, are cooperating with us, not because uh, only we are the social enterprise, uh, but uh, because we are producing uh, very quality products. And uh, 
yes, and the social enterprise it's a second, yeah. But now uh, during the crisis, we started also to make a point that, that we are social enterprise, that we are uh, employing people with disabilities uh, because uh, it's uh, hard for everyone, it's hard times. And uh, yes, uh, we decided uh, to make a, a bigger accent on this uh, social part of our organization and uh, also produced some samples uh, for different big, uh, huge organization mm -hmm. in Latvia. Um, and uh, decided to send them uh, letters uh, to offer to uh, uh, of our different products, uh, for example, face masks or t-shirts. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, we are also going to a uh, big organization and offering corporations uh, and uh, offering our products and telling that uh, these products are produced by people with disabilities. Uh, uh, in normal times, uh, we didn't do it, but now we started uh, to tell us, uh, to tell uh, our story more and more to others, to big organizations, to find new cooperation partners. Thank you. Thank you, Natalia, very much uh, for an, uh, quite an interesting excursion around. Uh, it's nice to see how it's in reality, not theoretically. Yeah. Um, yes, I will really invite all participants here. If you have any questions regarding um, organization or regarding cooperation, please write them down. If you feel like you would like to speak up, raise your hand or just start speaking. But before maybe somebody uh, writes or uh, or ask a question, I have an Italian question for you. Have you faced any challenges in cooperations? Uh, yes, yes, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, as we are like cooperating in enterprise level, yeah, we don't have uh, other projects, yes. Yeah, so uh, the the main our challenge is that uh, to like. Uh, to do something better and to com uh, to compete in the prices also yeah uh, i uh, told that uh, we don't uh, give a discount for uh, on uh, disability yeah but uh, in reality the people with disabilities are working a little bit slower yes yeah, so our challenge is to uh, explain that uh, that here are working uh, a little bit different people. Also to explain that uh, we are offering uh, full sales uh, salaries. Yeah, uh, we are paying all taxes. Also it's uh, uh, like, I think uh, like it's a point in uh, all post-Soviet countries uh, paying taxes for their uh, workers uh, and all social taxes uh, um, are making a, the product price much much higher yeah so yes it, uh, it's quite big it challenge for like us. you are educating your, uh, your partner yeah we are educating and we are yes we are telling that uh, it's important to pay taxes for uh, workers yeah because uh, it's important for everyone to be socially protected and in latvia social uh, protection social policies are connected with uh, paid taxes Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great, Natalia. Uh, there are two more questions from uh, from Lilia and Saloma, but uh, I don't know if uh, I am able to read the question from Ukrainian. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, where do you get ex where do you get the expensive equipment? Yes, that's the question. Yeah, uh, the uh, in Latvia we have had uh, now it's uh, finished. Yeah, but we have had uh, autumn. Um, support it's a european union project support uh, for social enterprises and some part of uh, equipment uh, we bought uh, from from this project some part we bought uh, from our uh, earnings yeah uh, something also we have uh, uh, got uh, as a donation yeah for example uh, mostly furniture like uh, not the sewing furniture yeah uh, production furniture, but for example, kitchen furniture or tables or this uh, we got as a donation or like changed to our products. So like uh, ask uh, people that we need to, uh, for example, sorry. Yeah. There is the one expensive uh, equipment falling. No, 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 no. We just uh, moved uh, some um, furniture, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so we changed uh, to our products uh, and uh, to our like cards, uh, gift cards, uh, some uh, shop furniture and some um, also workshop furniture. Yeah, 
tables, uh, shelves, uh, like all this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also we are collecting, we are not, uh, we are using uh, a lot of stuff for a long time. We are five year old, uh, years old and uh, some stuff is uh, from the beginning mm -hmm. we are using. Okay. Natalie, thank you a lot. Thank you for what you do and uh, great luck and great success through also this pandemic time. Uh, uh, you inspired me. I will see you on the stage and I, I think I really like those uh, leggings that you were showing yeah. in the t-shirts. Really pretty. All right. Uh, and thank you for the questions. Yes, Eric already placed the website of the organization. Uh, and we are going to continue with the Ukrainian organization, Social Enterprise, uh, Ozero Space. And we will invite Anna to tell about your story. But just shortly, Ozero Space is the first zero-based company in Ukraine, which helps people to lead a conscious lifestyle through global change in, in the world and about how it's done practically and that what exactly they do and what are their corporations. So I will invite Anna to share your story. Thank you. Can I please um, be able to share my screen? Uh, there should be possibility. Uh, All right, just a moment. Mm -hmm. yes, on the, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. this. Uh, so you see a first page is blue and it has my name on it. Right? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Anna Ponikarchuk, and though I'm like giving speeches and lectures for four years, I'm still worrying. Um, so, and happy to share my experience with you, starting my timer to be on time. Um, I'm a co founder of Ozero Space. We are uh, a social entrepreneurship from uh, Ukraine, from Kyiv. And um, other than that, well, actually, I cannot say other than that because it's all together. Uh, I'm a lecturer and uh, an eco activist and an entrepreneur. And what is this Ozero space? We uh, founded the company in 2018, though we had an idea in 2017. So we are soon to become a four years old company. Um, and um, it all started with uh, an idea that we want to spread more information about zero waste, what it is, because then at that time, probably nobody knew this word combination in Ukraine. And um, we started giving out lectures about this topic um, and everybody was super happy, but then they also asked I think you're right, but what do I do now? Where do I get this um, more eco-friendly toothbrush? Or where do I buy these reusable bags for shopping? And we understood that there is no place where people could uh, get uh, the alternatives. Uh, and we, from very beginning, were very strict with uh, quality, with certification. So we couldn't just send people anywhere because we were not sure what those shops were doing. And so we decided to start our own shop uh, as well as our education. And um, we basically put together a little savings, bought some small portion of uh, toothbrushes from Germany, sold them on Facebook, and then we kept on reinvesting the whole money. So what we're doing now, it's the same. So entrepreneurs, get ready to reinvest everything you make. <laughs> And now we have three main directions of a business, which are business consulting, education, and zero waste shop. Uh, so what changed from the beginning? Uh, zero waste shop grew very much. We have around 1,000 different goods now in our shop, uh, online and offline, and all of them have a story because we take sometimes months to choose uh, certified reliable goods so that we are sure that we're giving something proper and checked to our customers, which we will never be sorry for. Uh, education goes on and we give out uh, trainings, lectures. Uh, some of them are free, some of them are um, paid online and offline because we want to spread this uh, knowledge of how to make your life or business more eco-friendly in easy ways. And the business consulting. So we help uh, businesses and organizations to change their ways of working from the inside. Uh, very often we are addressed with the question of um, recycling. Help us to recycle. And uh, we say, 
great, we will help you, but this is not the main problem. First, you need to try to create less waste and be more sustainable in different other ways. And so from uh, just a recycling topic, organizations or businesses get invited into the whole big world of sustainability. I have here some um, examples of our partners or our clients. So we have a lot of different uh, companies now cooperating with us, which is great. And uh, this is a picture of our current space in Kyiv. We are actually in the process of transforming. Uh, we have changed in four years. We have changed three locations. Every time we grew bigger and bigger. Uh, and right now we are in this stage. We also grew and we changed our location. Uh, so this is a picture of our temporary place for a shop. Uh, and in the meantime, we are working with uh, architects and builders uh, to create this location um, in Kyiv, which is 220 square meters. It will have two floors. We already rented it and uh, the uh, repair works are about to start. So it will be what we always wanted to have from the very beginning. It's a combination of different um, activities in one place. For sure, zero waste shop, plus coffee, didn't write them down, uh, co-working and lecture area, because for us, it's very important to spread the knowledge, to have more different events, to bring people together. And so in this place, it will all be possible. Um, my one advice to uh, entrepreneurs, to social entrepreneurs, just be honest with yourself. Uh, from the very beginning, uh, there are so many different problems that you can solve throughout your project, your business, or your idea. But if this problem doesn't make you get out or get up uh, from bed in the morning, it won't work. It will work with someone else, but it won't work with you. So be honest and find um, your idea, your problem that you personally want to change. Not that it's fashionable or popular, or everybody talks about this, but something that is truly yours. Um, and of course, be kind to people. Um, you never know who is in front of you and how those people can help you or who can they bring or what ideas, what support can they bring? This is probably just a general uh, human advice, but it's um, even more useful when you are becoming and you will become a public figure. If you are deciding to become uh, a social entrepreneur, this is uh, like a mission, you are changing the world. So uh, you're becoming public, no matter how big or small your idea, your project is at the moment. So just try to be kind to people and uh, stay friendly with them, no matter how they uh, behave <laughs> or just stay away from not nice people. <laughs> and uh, my uh, one um, cooperation example uh, actually turned into two. Uh, must it can be quite primitive, but I feel the need to share it. Uh, my first cooperation example is cooperation with my partner. Uh, this is the girl who is uh, my friend, who is a co-founder and co-owner. So we are together. She's on the very right and I'm on the very left on the picture. Her name is Nadia Samarina. And why do I think it's a good cooperation example? Uh, so be honest with yourself is my advice, but also try to get together with people who you truly, truly feel uh, that they are your people, um, that you know that you can rely on them, that they won't uh, let you down, they will support you as friends, as people, uh, as partners, but it's very important to, uh, seven minutes, sorry, just 30 seconds to go. <laughs> so bad. Uh, just uh, try to unite with people who will support you and not let you down. And uh, the second cooperation um, example, uh, picture is there for a reason. This year, or actually this month, we are becoming part of United Nations Global Agreement. Um, it's an NGO that unites organizations as businesses. And I decided to share exactly this one with you because it's quite a bigger scale. We have different examples of different cooperations. They go on and on and on. But this one for me is very special. In four years, we um, this, um, reached this phase where we are able to approach such a big organization. It is big. And actually, you pay to be a part of it. But normally, you pay like 
$2,000 a year. And we thought for all the years, oh God, this is too much. Where do we get this money from? And what do we do with this uh, agreement? But this year we approached them and uh, they know us, we know them. So what happens when you join these organizations? You organization, you get access to all different businesses and companies that uh, will help each other. So it's more and more and more corporations to follow. And we said, we love everything you do. We actually do the same. And we decided on an agreement. So we have a very good discount for joining this. Instead of it, we will provide our services. We will help them to become even more sustainable and organize different events. But for us, it's like a key to a bigger scale. When I mean bigger scale, while joining, they were asking us, so your yearly income, it's probably less than 25 million. And I'm like, what is she going to say? Million dollars. And I'm like, well, yes, just now it's less than 25 million dollars. So I understand that this agreement for us is joining a bigger scale of companies who are free in their mind to become more sustainable. Uh, that's all for me. Please join us online. Ozero.me is our website and our Instagram. And uh, write to me anywhere if you need any of my advice or expertise. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, uh, can you close the screen? Yes. Uh, this is quite unique how in 10 minutes uh, you can spread the energy and inspiration. So Anna, really compliments for what you do and how you spread this message. Uh, I have a question. How long do you work? How, how long is this organization already? We are almost four years. Four years. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I also have some questions, but I'll read questions. There is Mar writing. Uh, uh, do you measure the impact you create? And do people in Ukraine believe that climate change is real and they affect it? So we measure our impact right now in two ways. One of them quite primitive, but it's a retail thing. So we measure how many reusable cups we sold in this way, how many single use cups we saved from using and so with different uh, items from our shop. And we post it almost every year, like in December online, on Instagram or on Facebook. And people, um, so to say in my bubble, People do believe in climate change, but there is many people in Ukraine and I can't reach out to all of them. I'm trying. Um, there are climate marches. There are a lot of things happening in Ukraine now comparing to three, four years ago. Um, and more and more organizations are appearing. But I'm afraid that um, not all uh, nation, nation of Ukraine is very conscious about what's going on. It all depends on what they see and hear on TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you have some other questions, please type. Yes, um, I'll ask you, Anna. Uh, you talk. You talked about kindness, which I also truly agree with. That being kind is a very uh, important thing. But have there been cooperations when you were really pissed and angry, and you felt like, no, this is unbelievable that this is happening like that? You mean somebody towards us, or generally? Generally, with whom you, as in a social enterprise, with whom you cooperated, and you felt it wasn't as you expected, or it it was just truly, truly challenging. Um, it's also about corporations. Sometimes, sometimes um, partners of our shop, um, they are just not as friendly as you expect them to be for no reason. And you think, I'm giving all of my attention, time, I'm giving you money, but you are behaving towards me like a very not nice person. And it's just human relation, no matter how good the pro product is, if the people in charge of it aren't nice and you don't feel a connect you won't uh, work so this is the same to uh I, you all guys no matter what you do just try to be normal <laughs> it, it helps to just to, to develop your business and your organization mm -hmm. uh, and you uh, thank you and you also talk about this uh, united nations agreement um, which is quite a huge i, I guess um, uh, possibility for corporations but is there any organization that is in your mind that you would like to cooperate with? Yes, actually, at that uh, time of we made a picture with Nadia there, we already spoke to three companies and they are all quite big. Um, and um, what they want to do, like they have already some projects running, uh, sustainability projects. But we see from our expertise that they can be a little bit tweaked or directed so that they create more impact. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, like for example, are directed towards recycling, but 
this doesn't make such a big difference. So we know from four years of our work what can. And those companies, they are really happy to cooperate because we spend so much time investigating into this. So, and we are ready to share our knowledge and experience with them. Mm, okay. Thank you, Anna. Thank you a lot. And uh, now I will introduce other Anna uh, from Armenia. I, I think it's kind of coincidence, probably, that if you are Anna, there is a great possibility that you will become a social entrepreneur. But uh, Anna from Armenia, from Social Cafe Mizzi Uri. Uh, uh, just, uh, just one uh, comment. Actually, we are from Georgia, not from Armenia. From Georgia. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. From Georgia. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but uh, you are still, uh, uh, yes, from Social Cafe Mizzi Uri. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes. <laughs> okay. So please, girls. Um, <laughs> We welcome your presentation and your story. Um, uh, thanks for uh, this event, for, uh, for example. Um, I, I want to ask you that my presentation will be in English, uh, in, in Georgian, and I will ask Salome to translate my presentation because for me it will be much easier to talk about uh, our cafe and Salome will help me to translate. But uh, I understand everything and if you will have some questions, I will answer them in English. <laughs> Um, uh, just one uh, comment. Um, Anna, uh, synchronous Targmanic, the Madashes of Amsatara, problem of Cartwati Sauber, Monetile, Gaigeben, English Surat. Very good. Mogis on the Bitwalas, Metamo, what can organize the Amzians, Amshim Tolish, Social Satamus, Zuri's Cafe, so many. Zuri, Zuri Cafe. I just remind people, so everyone who would like to hear in English, please press the button on the interpretation to English so you will hear in English. Yeah? Okay, sorry, Anna, please and, go on. Okay, and I'll try to speak uh, slowly for those who translate, okay? Um, I represent Cafe Mziuri, which is established in the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi, and that is one of the uh, the central cafes, which I already established, will establish some five years ago. And uh, the uh, reason for establishing this cafe is that uh, in Missouri Park, just to have the functionally open uh, the area, open space. Let me start from the story. Um, uh, when my, my story started a uh, long ago in this park, uh, the name Missouri is for park, by the way. Uh, it's a park garden uh, for many years. Uh, in the building, the potter recreates the reason that it has been the problem. I hope the recreation is going to be terrible as park in the barrels to this is a change of the building in Bake. Uh, linked with this park. During the 12 months, I and my friends, uh, the, we organized this special festivity just to revitalize this park because we had quite a difficult time in early 90s. And the first it was the festivity for children on June 1. The idea about this enterprise we got later on uh, because there was some devastated building uh, in the park and we decided to open there the social cafe. And uh, it was decided to spend all money, all profit uh, for uh, the revitalizing the park and to make it attractive for uh, the people of uh, any age group. Therefore, uh, of course, in Mziuri Park, we wanted to have constantly different uh, uh, the events to have adapted places for the, the people in this, uh, the needs, etc. I first of all speak about park. As I've already mentioned, we uh, exist five years already. And during those five years, Almost every year, hundreds of events we are organizing here. And at the same time, we also offer to the people uh, the free of charge our space. And they can come and they can organize some activities, non-commercial, of course. Uh, it would be the presentation of the book, the concerts, or different other activities. Uh, so. 
on the one hand, it will raise the uh, awareness among the for public as well as the cafe is well adapted for the people with the disabilities and uh, we also have one person who is employed in the cafe so the major the major uh, the topic is here collaboration uh, with the different businesses and uh, i unfortunately today cannot share with you uh, the photos because uh, I am now in a place where I cannot do it. I only have my telephone, therefore I could not share my screen. Uh, but uh, with regard to uh, Zuri Cafe, in order to have the better impression about it, its scope, etc., you can go to our Facebook. It's a Cafe in Zuri. And when it comes to the cooperation, we have had uh, since the opening different experience, the different exercises, and uh, the many businesses or even the private people, we got the support. So uh, first and foremost, we uh, renovated uh, this building and we opened the cafe here. Uh, also, we have quite a very good exams of a good cooperation with the businesses. Uh, we have uh, the constant communication with the different enterprises, I mean, the, uh, the traditional enterprises, in order to have uh, them as a good partners. Uh, for instance, when we started collecting money uh, to open this cafe, the first uh, was uh, one of the, uh, the successful banks in Tbilisi, uh, the who uh, the deposited money, uh, for the development of our cafe. And uh, also there is one organization, uh, it is an internet provider, and uh, they are providing the free of charge internet. Uh, and together, uh, they also try to do their projects together with us. I'm sorry, I'm also getting some outside voices from the cafe. Yes, Anna, uh, if you could, uh, if you could uh, sum up in a one minute. Okay. Yeah. Is there is there something else you would like to share, Anna? No, I have uh, is everything translated because I, I maybe I was speaking too quickly. Okay, um, Anna, if it's okay, go to the second and the third section of the gazier. Ah, okay. Um, how are you about pick up from? Uh, I think that the most important is here that the all social entrepreneurs have to present their their own businesses. They need to have the constant cooperation with the enterprises because the partnership is really very important. And. Uh, Constant communication is the most important, and here we can use it to our benefit. We first of all need good space. Uh, somebody can buy your product, somebody can use your space, and the cooperation can be, let's say, mutual mutual and to have the uh, let's say friendly relations with the businesses thank you very much yeah so i think um, anna is done with the speech all right perfect perfect thank you anna i see you are really in a busy place uh, yeah. I'm but sorry. Also, it's okay okay we could hear you uh, and thank you for translator to adapt very quickly. Uh, I saw also the Facebook page, the praise looks really gorgeous. Uh, it's really amazing from uh, from the outside. Uh, maybe the question to you, Anna, uh, what were you, are your like most important learning lessons about cooperating with uh, other organizations? What is something you keep in mind always when you start a new collaboration? Oh, from um I think that, uh, but frankly speaking, like the other businesses, we are being developed gradually. 
and we always developed ourselves because you have to keep always uh, the hand on the pulse. You have to uh, offer your product to the others and you have to find what is the most interesting, uh, who is most interesting partner for you. In some cases, we had uh, this type of the development. You know, the business uh, entrepreneurs had no idea about the social enterprises. So we made the presentations for them and we developed our cooperation. Therefore, uh, when time goes on, you probably need more and more awareness raising. Also, the business has some ten tendencies, some trends, that, and you have to follow uh, that trend. It is not the process which you start and it will be continued endlessly. No, you always have to find something new, something, uh, I, I don't know, popular, because, uh, uh, and also you need to get new friends. It's also very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Anna, there is two more questions. I will ask one about um, also social impact. How do you how do you measure your social impact? We have uh, several uh, directions. Let's see, for instance, ecological, uh, the environmental, um, and we try just uh, uh, to do the things which can change the nature and the environment to the better. It's one. Also, uh, the social outcome is that today, Zuri as a park is one of the best in Tbilisi and uh, more people now understand and knows about our enterprise. Uh, the people who live in Tbilisi, if they would like to organize some meetings, uh, they, I don't know, some events, first of all, they always come to Zuri Cafe. Uh, and maybe in figures, I can reflect it, uh, this, uh, the outcomes. For instance, for students, for the people with disabilities, for the children, during the year, we have already organized, I don't know, maybe before pandemic, of course, we had better results, but now we have more than 100 events. We also have the educational activities, also for people with the disabilities, we have the educational activities. So, uh, yeah, now the park is absolutely different, whether it was before we arrived here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, a lot. I, I see there are other comments and questions. Uh, maybe those who will be with Anna in the group later in our uh, the second part, then you can ask something more. Yes, next uh, next spring, I plan to go to Georgian mountains. So, so then I will, um, for sure, I will come and visit you in Tbilisi. Yes, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and we will continue. It's uh, I think it's a little bit hard because there are two inspiring stories. So. Uh, I, I feel it's uh, we need kind of a breath to take in before going on. But we will continue with uh, Liene from Latvia, social enterprise uh, Sonido. And uh, Sonido provides a variety of call center services. And they have found a way how to help someone to feel heard and understood by employing the people, team of people with special needs. So Liene, uh, excited also to hear your story. Uh, hello, everyone. So, can you first uh, some technical details? Can you see my screen? And is it full screen or it's? Uh... Uh, it's not full. If you press this button, yes. If you yeah. click. Yeah. Uh, now it is. Sorry. Now it is. Yes. Then we can hear you and we can see. Good. 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 So it was uh, really, really inspiring. Thank you so much for starting with uh, with Natalia uh, and the stories from Ukraine and Georgia really really amazing so I I will try to keep up with the with the high spirit <laughs> and share our our story of our uh, social impact so my name is Lienta Reina Miteva and I represent uh, social enterprise Sonido uh, I'm a social project manager at Sonido uh, our main uh, main business is uh, we are a call center and we provide uh, business to business services 
uh, incoming calls, uh, telemarketing, uh, basically everything related to ensuring uh, call center services for uh, other businesses. And uh, we are also a social enterprise and we are a, a work integration social enterprise. So we work with uh, people with disabilities. 60% uh, of our employers are from uh, social risk groups, mostly people with disabilities or uh, people before uh, retirement long-term unemployed people and uh, also uh, parents, uh, mothers who are taking care of uh, children with uh, disabilities. Uh, this is our, uh, our motto. We take responsibility, we support and uh, deliver. And uh, we've been operational already for uh, nine years. But uh, as a social enterprise, we are, uh, we are working since 2018 and we have received lots of uh, recognition and awards, not only in uh, Latvia, but also uh, Europe-wide. Uh, so uh, for our, uh, our good, good work and uh, how we work with uh, people with uh, disabilities, uh, have been uh, recognized uh, recognized very wildly. So our story started a uh, long time ago. Uh, the company is created by uh, Inga Mujnietze. Uh, she founded a call center, which uh, later, later on turned into a social enterprise. And uh, she, she and her colleagues uh, working uh, in a call center uh, uh, realized that uh, most of the people call, uh, there's only 10% from the conversation is about getting uh, information, but 90% is just uh, expressing emotions, uh, need to, to talk to someone. Uh, there's a famous story from Inga. Uh, she was uh, working at nights as a, herself as a, a uh, uh, call center operator, and uh, she received a phone call at late evening. An uh, older woman called and said that she has saved uh, two lads at that time in, 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 uh, in Latvian uh, money, not in euros. And she, can, she wants to spend these two lads on uh, just to talk on the phone with someone who wants to listen and, and answer. And uh, basically, this. Uh, this made her uh, realize that there is a need for a simple phone line where you can just call and, and talk. There are lots of, uh, there are lots of uh, crisis help lines uh, are, where you can get psychological help. Uh, there are lots of this kind, this type of uh, phone lines, but uh, actually there was none uh, which just or you can just uh, simply call and 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 uh, talk. So about our social impact, uh, we have uh, yeah we are a uh, wise. Uh, we employ people with disabilities. We offer a very nice inclusive working space. Uh, and uh, the other side of the social impact is we help uh, lots of people who feel lonely. Uh, so they can channel their, their emotions and uh, actually feel much better. Uh, yeah, 50, the, the numbers, uh, 50 people, 50% 50 from our uh, employees always should be people with disabilities. It is uh, said by the uh, social enterprise law because we are officially recognized social enterprise and uh, the impact uh, on their lives is, is, is very, very big. Uh, yeah, they, they have a stable job, uh, sense of belonging. Uh, they have a nice uh, team. And uh, we also enjoy uh, this uh, different generations working together. We have very young people working as uh, call center operators 
And uh, as I said, we have people who are already in their retirement years. And our, our people, our uh, call no, center operators are uh, actually, uh, they feel like they are role models or we call them influencers actually uh, for other, uh, other people and other companies to employ people with uh, disabilities and also for people with disabilities uh, that uh, it is possible to, to get a job at, and work. And the, the emotional well-being uh, for, for the call, uh, our clients, we receive approximately four to 600 calls per month. So we work every day. And uh, yeah, what we, what we the, the biggest topics uh, we, we talk about is just life, daily life. Uh, people just call in and, and uh, say like, share their uh, daily, daily tasks. And I don't know what, how, what do they see outside the window? Or uh, I don't know what they have seen. I have to ask you one more minute, if you okay. can. I'm almost done. It's just there's so, somebody with the microphone on. Yeah. And then there is the impact, which we cannot really measure, but we know that it exists. Uh, it's on the wider society. We actually help family doctors and, and social workers. We kind of channel these uh, people who, if they, if they don't call us, they would call uh, their family doctor and, 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 and try to talk to, to, talk to them. And uh, yeah, we measure our social impact with the uh, client surveys, we receive feedback and, uh, and we actually write it down and, and we actually do it properly. So about collaborations. Uh, yeah, as our primary primary goal is to so we so we can run run the social enterprise. We have to earn money, and uh, in that sense, we operate uh, as a normal uh, commercial enterprise, and we collaborate with lots of uh, uh, big companies, uh, which are very happy to buy our our services uh, and uh, why do they cooperate with us basically we have cooperations with uh, with other companies business to business we also help uh, non-governmental organizations like during the pandemics and we also have worked with the municipalities to help them maintain a local helpline but basically why do they uh, why do we consider uh, something uh, like that's success or why these collaborations help become success is uh, that uh, we as a company, we offer the best service. That's been said already several times. I think already Ova said that, that that's the most important thing. You can't just rely on the fact that you are a social enterprise and that you work with people with disabilities. It doesn't matter. You have to have a good quality service. You also have to have a good reputation. And of course, there should be a market need for your, for your service. And uh, the last thing is that uh, other companies, big corporations like Rimi, also TED, they are ready to buy services from social uh, enterprises, which offer good quality, so they can feel and they can say that they are socially responsible companies. Thank you. Thank you, Liana. Uh, you truly uh, kept the light. It's really, really, uh, really inspiring again. And uh, uh, I will just stop the screen. Yes. Yeah, um, sorry. Do you do it or I, or I should I, do I it? I try to ah, try sorry. do it, but it doesn't. Yes. yes, now it works. Yes. Liana, do you work uh, yourself? Do you work on the, um, on the calls? Do you answer the calls? No, actually not. <laughs> mm, okay. Because I, yeah. what I really feel is that in this uh, pandemic time, it's so, so crucial for so many people. And um, I think you really, really covered the gap of what is needed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the uh, incoming calls increased by 30% during, by 30%. during pandemics. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. 
Mm -hmm. There was one question, uh, how are the operators prepared for work and how do they know the right things to say? <laughs> Actually, Mara, they mostly listen. <laughs> That's the purpose of a, of a, a helpline, which is called Let's Talk. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now people need to be heard, need to be heard, and that is uh, that is very 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 important to to know the right moment that to know that say mm -hmm, yes aha uh -huh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, so they are trained. No, there is some, yeah. there is some no, training. they are for them. yeah people who work uh, at, uh, at the helpline. Let's uh, let's talk. Those are people with disabilities, and they have uh, themselves. They have gone through very hard times in their lives. So they have a big empathy for other people, but at the same time, uh, they can easily say, hey, listen, uh, your life is not so bad, you know? <laughs> yeah, everything is in perspective. <laughs> yes, yeah. we, we as, a, we as a people who don't have this experience, we can't do this, but they can actually, because they, have themselves this kind of experience. Okay. Thank you, Lena, for a touching story. Uh, Thank you. All the good luck also for you. Uh, what can I say? I think I will try one evening when it's going to be said autumn evening, I will um, try and give a call. Yeah, it's not only all the uh, lonely people. Actually, the average caller is a uh, woman. 50, 40, 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Lena. So we are going to continue two more stories. Uh, the next story is from Ukraine, Social Enterprise Dream Workshop. And this is an organization that produces ecological high quality wooden toys. And uh, Halina, yes, Halina is here. Okay. So are you- yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm ready. Uh, but one uh, little note, we're not producing toys, we're making tea. <laughs> so my bizarre is a little mistake. Uh, yeah, our social enterprise, my Starnia or workshop uh, of the dream, uh, was founded uh, five years ago, almost five years in January uh, 2017. And uh, we work both as a social enterprise, which produces herbal tea uh, from uh, plants which grow in Carpathian mountains which are uh, ecological and good to health and everything and everything. Uh, I want the, the marketing stuff here. Um, and uh, another part is our NGO which has founded the center for the young people with mental disabilities. Uh, in this center we have 13 students uh, and six hours per day we work with them. We help them to socialize, to learn on different self-service skills um, to um, just have normal environment because uh the uh, like current situation in Ukraine is that after graduating from the school, uh, people with mental disabilities are uh, just isolating is in their homes. And we decided that we want to change this. Also, we support families of our students with different kinds of psychotherapy groups and so on. Uh, plus, we run uh, info campaigns, educational campaigns, and uh, advocacy campaigns in society to change the general um, mind about uh, mental disability. Um, uh, we are probably the same age as uh, previous speakers. I, as I heard, four or five years, it uh, seems like it's age when you are uh, uh, already uh, experienced to, to make some, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, to get some lessons uh, from your past and you can share. Uh, but we are still learning and every day we are looking for some new models which we can uh, offer to our partners. And I can share how we found uh, the connection with a pretty nice partner. Uh, it's um, the restaurant Storok of Tomov Parat, where the chef is Yevhen Klopotenko. For people who are not from Ukraine, uh, I can explain that uh, Yevhen Klopotenko for Ukraine is like some Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Uh, Gordon Ramsay, he's like the most famous chef and his restaurant is really fancy place and um, it's really nice to, uh, to, to say to someone, yeah, we do tea for their kitchen and people are pretty impressed. How? Like, why? Klopotenko? And um, 
uh, our experience, uh, how we connected uh, to uh, this place. Uh, honestly, it was not so hard and so awful as it might seem from the beginning. Uh, you have just to find the right moment for the first time when you knock on the doors. Uh, we um, did it uh, when the first quarantine, first lockdown was set in Ukraine and uh, Johan wrote on his Facebook page that, you know, there is this bad situation to li little enterprises, to little na national producers of some, of some food and stuff and we should support them. And I thought, yeah, it's a good, uh, a good idea to, to write him directly and say, uh, look at us, we are that ones uh, who you're writing about. And um, uh, his manager of the page, uh, because I understand that it's uh, another person uh, who is responsible for the SMM uh, in his case, wrote us um, a contact of manager of the restaurant and said how this story started. Uh, it took us uh, four managers <laughs> in this restaurant to be changed while this chain of conversation because um, to it, it is possible, it is absolutely possible to get into this high kitchen, but it will take you a lot of time and a lot of um, cases when you have to show that you are good enough, that you are responsible enough, that you can fulfill all their expect expectations and do even more. Uh, and we were um, having test after test and a new test again, like, uh, you know, guys, we want uh, some very strange tea with very strange components, but it should look nice and it should be tasty. What can you offer to us? And we were sitting and uh, thinking, what really can we offer? Because it was very new, because uh, earlier we were working with um, receipts which were ready, which were composed by uh, herbal um, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, Stromnaki people who are gathering these herbs in the mountains, they know uh, how they work together, all the components in the receipt, and we were consulting and looking for uh, new receipts to offer, and then again and again, and uh, what is really important lessons that you shall uh, not only offer a good product, uh, but offer a really, really good service, we were uh, sending uh, all of these tasting sets to them for free, we were paying this delivery, we were uh, packing it in little packages and uh, it was written what components are inside and how we were looking for this receipt, why it, it is better for this case and this one might be better for the cold weather, for example. So uh, you should offer differ, uh, different options to your customer and uh, this is about service and service is not uh, less important than the product itself. So uh, if we speak about some hierarchy in uh, your representation as a social enterprise, I would say that on the first place it should be the product, the second or maybe the same, uh, or the same place, the service. And just after all this, you should talk about your social part because business partners very often they don't care that you're social, that you're changing something in the world. It's reality. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just how it works. So. Um, the most important is quality and service. Uh, we have also um, collaborations with uh, another uh, cafes who are pretty uh, well known in Ukraine as uh, Vatrano Brownie, for example. Uh, I also was writing for, uh, to, to them first in the same Facebook, but it didn't work. Uh, a lot of times it didn't work until I came to Kiev and I went to their place <laughs> and they said, hey, you know, we are so cool. And may I talk to your manager and maybe after the fifth or sixth contact, it, this uh, really started working. So sometimes you need a really face-to-face -face conversation and uh, presenting your product right there so they can taste and um, 
you, you can tell uh, everything in person. Uh, what is also important for the social enterprises, I see that very often there is uh, this mistake that they can't uh, present their, their selves well. Uh, they don't have the presentation of a product. They don't have normal price list, which is looking good, like a designer was working on it, you know, and you really should think about how it will be um, shown to your client and you have to work on this um, decoration <laughs> uh, aspect uh, of your presentation too. Alina, the last minute, all right, the main, main things. Uh, so it's it generally is the most important stuff, like, uh, yeah, the communication is maybe our the strong side, how we found these partners, and um, uh, the quality and the service is also should be the first place thing, and the, the social part is important, but for the business it might be not as important as it is for you, and it's okay, we, we should just uh, take the situation and work on this. Uh, thanks for your attention. Thank you, Halina. Uh, let's see if there will be some questions. I see somebody wrote in uh, Georgian. Yes, uh, let's see if you can translate. But uh, um, uh, yes, Salome. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, the Salome, it wasn't um, connected to the uh, speaker, just introduction of the social enterprise Tina is uh, representing. So um, I, I just answered that later on, and there will be possibility to uh, work in smaller groups and uh, introduce herself. So no worries about the ah. comments in the chat. Okay, okay. Thank you, Slome. Yeah. Helena, I just have a, a specific question for you. How much tea do you drink yourself a day? <laughs> I really drink a lot of tea and uh, it's one of the reasons why I do what I do because mm -hmm. uh, as a previous speaker said you have to love what you do mm -hmm. and uh, and I, I, I'm really sure that it's qual high quality and it's safe and I drink it myself and I give it to my mm -hmm. kids and so on so mm -hmm. um, without it uh, I don't think that I would be able to, to work <laughs> in this mm -hmm. So if uh, if your kids are asked in school, what do your mom? What does your mom do? Uh, they say, oh, she drinks tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and do something with people with disability. Really, they, they are talking <laughs> about mm -hmm. this, all right. Alina, there are people asking in chat uh, to what is the name of your tea? Like, can you please type so? And somebody is also asking, do you export to Latvia? Um, we don't export yet to Latvia, but I hope in the future to do it. And I will send the link to our site in the chat so you can uh, check out everything we have. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for and, your attention. Uh, and sorry for uh, mixing uh, tea with the toys. Uh, maybe in the future you will also do something with the toys. but. Um, now with the wooden toys, I want to invite uh, uh, Teona from organization Dadari from Georgia. And uh, Teona will be speaking in Georgian. So all people who would like to have it in, uh, who want to learn Georgian, you can keep in Georgian. Who wants to uh, hear it in English, go into the interpretation button and uh, put it to English. And Teona, please, the floor is yours, and we are um, uh, eager to hear your wooden story. Good afternoon. I would like to welcome all of you, and I would like to share uh, with you uh, my, uh, the manager of Dadari. Dadari is the social enterprise in Georgia. I'll try to speak as fast as possible in order to say everything I would like to share with you. That is our logo. So who we are, Dadari, and we are the social enterprise from Georgia, and we are producing the toys for children with the ecologically clean uh, the timber. We have about 17 people in our team, uh, and five out of 17 are the people uh, with uh, the disabilities or, uh, or with some needs. Uh, five are from the occupied territories of Georgia. I mean, the, uh, the internally displaced people. Tell about our product. In these photos, you can see the different type of our product uh, they produced in Georgia. Uh, the major direction is that we would like uh, just uh, to uh, have 
Um, so we, by the way, exist uh, from 2012, and we wanted to have ecologically clean and safe toys because at that time, out of 10, nine were dangerous for children. And it was very alarming, uh, the information. Therefore, we decided uh, to create uh, the safe toys for children, not only in Georgia, but also in outside. You can see four types. Uh, the, we are using different, different type of colors. First of all, the natural colors, natural paints, um, uh, paintings. They are Petre, Christina, Akaki, and Guy, of course, and their life has been changed drastically after starting work in our enterprise. So we managed to retrain about 10 people who had some a psychological problem. Five of them are permanent members of our team. And almost all of these people, uh, almost all of them, already acquired uh, the special skills and competencies that are necessary for this type of job. For us, priority, priority was to learn them the profession in order uh, to make stable their employment and also to have good environment around. Uh, in order to continue working. This is one of our products. And, and uh, you know that this is uh, uh, the example of one of our staff members. Do you hear me? Yes, we do. So this is one of the big banks, the TBC Bank in uh, Georgia. In 2019, when Dadari started uh, the working at that time, we decided uh, to create some product and send uh, for the traditional businesses. And one first company that was TBC Bank, uh, and uh, it's a uh, uh, their logo, by the way, which I made the prototype of their logo as a toy. So uh, we have the big corporations in Georgia, uh, the, also the big banks, and they always make some uh, special gifts for their staff. And we decided to do it uh, for them. Uh, we sent, first of all, the official mail, then we met them and they liked our work. We also uh, the, uh, told them that we would be able to make any type of job with this regard. I mean, uh, the clean timber, the toys, or some souvenirs in the down there. You can see uh, this is, by the way, uh, the special play, the or game. It means uh, think about it. And we produced 5,000 of this type of toys. Of course, uh, the later on, we invited more and more uh, the workforce because we didn't expect such a huge order. Therefore, we managed to do it. Within two weeks, uh, we uh, did that job. And uh, after that, we already implemented more than five projects together with the TBC Bank. Uh, since that first successful project, they continued cooperating with us, and we both are quite uh, satisfied with our cooperation. So uh, maybe the order is not always such a big, maybe it is only some 15,000 lari, but if we take into account that we have only 17 people within the company, and it was the first step uh, the, and uh, even less than one year of operation provided us with a huge possibility. Uh, and we thought that the cooperation was excellent and we had to follow this type of the activities. When it comes to this small business and uh, when it comes to the social uh, enterprise, first and foremost, we have to uh, we, we have to uh, break the stereotypes because one of the presenters, which we had uh, uh, now today, uh, she talked, Anna talked about quality, how important it is to have the high quality product. And when we offer the uh, product to our uh, the consumers, of course, 
We don't want them to buy our product just because we have the status of the social enterprise. First and foremost, we have to think about the high standard. And of course, first and foremost, our consumers shall like this product, our toys. Uh, uh, so that Leona, is another one, one minute. Teams. One more minute you have. So when, uh, one of the mottos is, uh, of our enterprise is that out of these 17 people, we all have the feeling and the motivation that we do our job and not the somebody else's job. And uh, like we are doing it for ourselves. Maybe it is not very clearly expression from my side, but I, would, I wanted to say that we love what we do. We are responsible for the things we are doing. And that is the very important precondition that Dadari is a successful enterprise in Georgia. By the way, we have uh, the export our uh, the goods in Germany, where you know how high standard they have for the toys. So uh, it is also very important that this small enterprise from Georgia managed uh, to offer uh, to the Federal Republic of Germany, the toys produced by our enterprise. That's all from my side. Diana, thank you so much. I, I will I'll also ask you immediately the question that we have in chat uh, about um, uh, as, uh, are there any other enterprises that create wooden toys and do you see them as competitors or maybe you see them as uh, somebody to cooperate with? In Georgia, we have several enterprises, including the social enterprises uh, for the wooden toys. But uh, maybe uh, it does not sound in a very, very modest manner, but we don't have, we don't have uh, the competitors because uh, the quality is really very high. The quality is the decisive factor. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, one more question, Mara. I think I could give you a gift for uh, the best question asking person. Uh, which product is the top uh, rated by your customers or maybe the one that is sold most? Maybe turtle? <laughs> Yeah, Tiana, did you hear the question? Yeah, which is uh, the product that is like uh, yes, by the customers? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, in addition that I'm a manager, I'm also the production uh, representative. Uh, so I always have uh, the, uh, the personal contacts with the consumers. Therefore, I can say that uh, almost all toys, whatever is on our counter, the consumers are astonished, uh, and uh, especially maybe the new product. That is a map of Georgia. I can I can show it again. It's a map of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, Dadari, um, this is the uh, map of um, Georgia, and uh, there are like regions as uh, in uh, different countries as well. Uh, so you can just uh, put it there and then find the place and put. <laughs> oh, you can create it for any country, continent, and uh, yeah. Yeah, they are they are also having like these kind of maps for different countries as well. All right. Thank you, Teona. Yes, we also see the web page. So could be also that uh, somebody from Latvia will be interested or somebody well, from- I'd love yeah, it, thank yeah, so it thank you. Thanks a lot indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. Uh, all right, so now we are about to move into the very interesting phase of networking. But before that, uh, uh, we have to say goodbye for the people who are watching us on Facebook. So uh, if you have possibility to join us, for the networking phase. You're really welcome. There is a link in the comments. 
you can uh, go into Zoom link and come here. So you will be also part of the networking session. Uh, but before we start the networking, I think we need uh, a little bit of uh, some energy uh, to get into the groups and also to share. Uh, can I ask you if you are able to turn on your videos? That could be really excellent. Those people who are without the videos, if you could turn on the videos, because we are going to play a little game and you will really need the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We see. So, and uh, the game is very simple. Uh, I will tell the object and your task is to bring this object in front of the screen as soon as possible. Yeah, so be ready, prepare your seat. Don't please, don't fall from these uh, rolling chairs. So let's start with the first object. The first object is a spoon. Who can bring first a spoon? Yes, Maria. Maria got the first prize, leave a second and Anna. Anna got the third prize, all right, all right, but we continue, we continue, okay. I hope nobody went to some other. Yes, Mara, you also got a big one. Yeah, Teona as well, okay. Let's go for the second one. Uh, the second object is a pillow, is a pillow. I don't know who of you is in the office or maybe, yes, Mara is the first. Anna, yes, we see you. Okay, Ilze, you have also a blue one. And yes, yes, yes. Oh, Teona, this is a creative pillow, yeah, as well. Oh, and Owa has your own pillows. These are created by your company. Great, beautiful. Okay, let's go for the next one. Can the first one who will bring something sweet? Something sweet. Something sweet, take it literally or metaphorically. Uh, Salome, what is it? chewing gum it's uh, waffles really delicious waffles <laughs> okay tina what are you having yeah okay and we see yeah helena as well okay and let's go for the last one who can bring something inspiring something inspiring oh code names by regida yes and glasses yes helena uh, yes and uh, teona i see the dog Get the shit done, Marta Skuya. Thank you. Uh, Ilza, what is that? Ilza cheeks up. What is this interesting object? It is a huge microphone, the professional one. Ah, right. Okay, I see half yeah. of it. So it was. A, I thought it's a hair yeah. dryer, but uh, okay. <laughs> this time. Like that. Okay. Thank you all. And uh, with this, uh, we also want to introduce um, the networking phase. So. I will explain how it's going to be done practically. Uh, just in a little bit, you will be divided in five groups. And in each group, there will be a leader who will a little bit moderate the discussion and the conversation. And the main idea is uh, to share also your experiences, to talk about possible collaborations, maybe some collaborations that were not mentioned in the uh, presentations. And could be that somebody in the group will also create collaboration between people. So what you will be using, there is this uh, application Jamboard. I will share it on the screen. As you can see, uh, we will just put also the link in the chat. So e when you will be assigned to the group, check which group you are and then go to this group's page. If you are group one, stay in the group one phase. If you are the group two, you just click here on the upper side, go to the um, page two, and then you work in this, uh, in this sheet. So, and the questions are basically the same for each groups. Um, there is the first question, what are uh, other cooperation ways besides the examples that you heard today? And then you can uh, click on, the, on this uh, place and then you can write down what are they. And also what are some recommendations to improve the cooperation? Uh, today we heard about being kind, being honest, taking care of the quality, which are truly great uh, advices, maybe something that comes also from your own experiences. And then it could be great to tell you also introduce yourself, who you are, also the country you are from, and uh, what is your connection to social entrepreneurship. So it could be that you start maybe from the second question and then you go to the first. If you are, feel that you are really hot from the uh, from these old presentations, you can start with the first one and then go for the second one. And regarding the time, we will give uh, for these uh, sessions um, about 25 minutes, and then we will come back and then we will summarize, look what were some insights from the uh, uh, from these groups and conclude all the events. Yeah. 
Are there any questions so far about the groups, about what you have to do? Yeah, I, I guess that's no. Yes, there is the link. So you can see the link in chat. You can open the open the Jamboard. And OK, in a few seconds, you will be divided in five groups. So press the button join and you will be assigned to the group where you will be networking, maybe for the few next 20 minutes, maybe for some couple months or years. Welcome back, everyone. OK. How did it go? Can you make some sign? I know with the facial expression, something. Yes. Okay. It was um, not enough time to discuss. Not enough time. <laughs> okay. Not enough coffee, probably. Not enough cookies. Yes, it could be something. As for the networking events, it could be very much expected. Yeah. All right. I, I will give a word for each group for one person. I picked it randomly. Uh, so if you can say maybe how did it go in your group and maybe one or two things that you think it's relevant or useful to say for the other people here. So maybe Petro from the first group. Yes, Can you give us some, um, yeah. uh, so uh, there were four of us, me and Natalia from uh, OVA and the two um, super persons from Ukraine, uh, two ladies who are lecturers at the, at the economic universities. And actually we mainly like um, put it our accent, how it's going in like involving, involving uh, lecturers in universities in social entrepreneurship promotion. And actually maybe one key point from our discussion is that universities should be considered as the another stakeholder in fostering such a cooperation and especially our recommendation would be involve lecturers, especially in economics and management, to learn themselves about the social entrepreneurship and to promote the social entrepreneurship development among their, uh, their students in terms of doing researches or in starting their, their own social ventures. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you, Petro. Okay, uh, let's go to the second group, Halina. I catch by surprise, yes, but uh, maybe something that you remember that was useful from your group discussion. Mm, oh, we were uh, introducing ourselves for, for pretty long time, so we didn't have so much time to uh, talk about all the insights. But what we found is a uh, is a way to connect uh, Ilse's initiative with her application for uh, law magic exercises and. Uh, uh, Ola and Angelina, a moment for the future, who is uh, working also with people with disabilities and their clients might need this service. And it's really a nice meeting, I think, as uh, they can uh, do something um, in the future, mm -hmm. some, some common project. And also we were speaking about that um, in Ukraine, many people don't understand this, what is uh, the social entrepreneurship at all. And um, Everything which is a social academy uh, is talking uh, all the time. I, I must, yeah, because uh, I was uh, also. Uh, Yes, yeah, some of these. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kalina. Yeah, so uh, as we can hear, it's again educational and informative task to educate people of what it is and what it is not as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, from the fourth group, yes, we didn't have the third group, but the fourth group, Liene from Latvia, uh, maybe some insights from your group. I see that you also wrote several things there. Sorry. Yeah. So we had a very nice and fruitful uh, group conversation. Laughed, laughed a bit, and mm. made some some. Uh, yeah. Uh, our recommendation, first of all, is to always be kind to other other people, and to be passionate about uh, what you do. And uh, what we actually at the very end uh, after after this nice and and, and very optimistic uh, optimistic uh, chat, uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, it is very important for social enterprises to talk to each other to <clears throat> to find the formats uh, where to share their experiences and, and good practices, and also 
it is important for social entrepreneurs to and enterprises to be part of uh, other organizations like uh, associations or, or business networks, social business networks, etc. Great, so, and, and this is actually why this master group or peer group, as we could say, uh, things will be uh, introduced and will be created. I, I will just in a little bit, I'll also explain about them. Thank you, Liana. And from the last group, from the fifth group, uh, Mara, um, as you got the gift from the most active uh, question uh, <laughs> asker, so I will give you the space to share maybe some insights from your group. So this is my present, okay. <laughs> Um, I think we were more active on recommendations and on actual cooperation examples, but um, the thing I could take away is that uh, you have to you have to be um, an equal business operator and you have to provide high quality um, goods and services and um, it is, it is important that you stay honest to yourself, that you solve a problem that you really want to solve, but you have to keep in mind that for other uh, people that you will met, that you will meet and uh, you will want to cooperate with, that uh, they will not be interested in the social part. They just need to see that good quality product or service or, uh, yeah, so you have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yes, so for all the groups, all the people who participated in this uh, Google Jamboard site, uh, it, it will remain. Uh, please do not delete anything or uh, change the writings or you can write some joke or uh, make some heart or something, but don't delete the content. And also, if you want to have a look uh, with the clearer and more peaceful mind, maybe also some good information can come. About the mastermind group. So again, I will just inform you that um, soon you will uh, get an email about these groups. There will be three groups and you will be able to choose which group you would like to attend to. There will be a group about business modeling. Uh, another group will be about social enterprise uh, marketing and the third one about social impact management. And as I said before, these will be groups uh, who people who represent social enterprises come together they have common goal and uh, they can share their experiences, they can discuss some problems, uh, advise each other, kind of similar groups as this networking group, but they will have a specific uh, goal of what to do. And uh, they will be run uh, every month until uh, December for now. And then uh, probably you will see how it's gonna go. If it's gonna be uh, effective and you see that you get out of it, it can be possible that it's gonna prolong later also. Yes, and uh, the final thing I, I want to ask, is there anybody maybe from associations who would like to say some words, I don't know, sing some uh, local dance uh, or song or something that you would like to say for the others? Is there anybody from uh, any organization? Petro, yes. Go ahead. Petro, you're ready maybe for just, a song. Just, just just this one sentence. Uh, so first of all, uh, I would like to thank you, Lama. It was the wonderful moderation of the today's event. You know, you did a wonderful job. Big applause to you. <laughs> From the side, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and thank you all. Um, yes, before, before we, sh we finish, yeah. I would like to say something my perspective, so um, previously, prior to this event, we had a five webinars, and but I think that today's event was the most successful, and this is our lessons learned that actually what the people need and what the social entrepreneurs need is the networking, it's the live communication, it's the sharing knowledge, experiences, and so on and so on. So. Um, I, I really do hope that we can continue communicate within our mastermind group. And if you have, if you suggest any ideas how we can continue our communication, the informal communication, please write us and we will do everything we can to foster it. Uh, yes, and uh, thank you, thank you all. And maybe just the short, uh, the, 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 the preview, um, during this couple of months as we together with our um, uh, Georgian and Latvian colleagues prepared a kind of the mapping and the research of the best practices of cooperation between the traditional businesses and social enterprises. And in the nearest time, we are going to make a kind of the publication, the result of this mapping. So as soon as it is available, we will make it uh, accessible to all of you as well.
Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Petro. All right. Wonderful. I can honestly say I'm really positively boosted by the stories. Um, uh, and um, I think uh, also for myself, I will start to do something more after your inspirational things. And uh, other than that, uh, have a wonderful week. And uh, hopefully we meet somewhere in uh, uh, Ukraine or Georgia or Latvia or Paris or Papua New Guinea or somewhere. And uh, keep going with, the, as Anna said, uh, with the kind mind and kind heart. Yes, um, well, so we still have hands. Yes, we still have, we still have hands. Who... Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> yeah, Diana yeah. was also uh, going to say something. And there was another comment, as I okay. saw on the screen. Yes, we have Yulia, who wants to, who wants to say something. And, and I think Alina has unmuted herself as well. Mm -hmm. OK, Yulia. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for this topic. And for this experience, for me, it was like uh, several insights that I wrote down. And um, I think I will cooperate some public bodies in uh, Ukraine to cooperate. So it was insight that, okay, I can cooperate with the public bodies. <laughs> Why I didn't do that? Thank you very much for this. Thank you, Julian. And uh, who else raised the hand? Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I would like to tell to Petro that we did not forget uh, to do Ukrainian map. We uh, almost completed it and in three days we are going to send it to you. And I would like to thank all of you for these excellent uh, webinars. Some words about it. Uh, Petra, did you hear what Tona said? Yes, it was translated. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, like when um, uh, Ukrainian Social Academy was in Georgia, that I was the social enterprise they visited and um, uh, Archie, like Dadari promised the uh, Social Ukrainian Academy that they would uh, get the uh, map of Ukraine, Ukraine, the puzzle we showed uh, during the meeting. And uh, Tona said that it would be uh, sent, uh, sent like in five days to uh, them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my apologies for doing it after our visit, but it's I, I promise before all of you that I will do that in the next couple of days. <laughs> so now it's written down in the, it's recorded. That's yes, all. yes, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I have my hand raised as well, but uh, I just I just wanted to say that uh, thank you so much for all the presenters. I think you did an amazing job and uh, really love your stories. And I think uh, what my ex my main learning was that basically, you know, social entrepreneurship is uh, the same no matter uh, the nationality or, uh, or or country or or something that it's all about passionate people who care about what they do and uh, and they are capable of doing business with a good aim and with social impact. So, so uh, I'm really glad that um, that today showed it, and uh, and also I think yeah we we can see that challenges are also the same. So uh, so I think that uh, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, but uh, but we can do it uh, together. So thank you so much for joining today. We were re really happy to see all of the, all of this uh, going on, and uh, networking is the key. <laughs> so, so please, please do join the master group, mastermind groups, and I hope that they will uh, work very well. So, yeah, thank you so much, and have an amazing evening. Ciao, ciao, everyone. Bye.